Today we're heading out on a road trip. I have uh, sourced some of the parts I need for the International Wrecker I bought. Uh, so we're going to take a road trip. It's going to be a long day. Um, probably all total eight or nine hours, something like that. But we're down here to take a look, see what we can find. We've got signs up. There's an accident ahead. So we're going to be slowing down. Hopefully everybody else pays attention behind us. Looks like everybody's getting in the right lane here. The left lane must be closed, so we'll follow suit. Yeah, we're coming to a stop. It's never good when you come to a stop on on the highway, man. It can turn into a pileup pretty quick. Whenever I have to come to a stop on a highway, man, I leave as much room between me and the next guy as possible. So if I get rear-ended, I don't hit somebody else. This is a very long backup. We haven't even reached the first uh, support vehicle or flashing light yet. And it's been probably 10 minutes. Well, we're finally coming up on whatever. There was a bunch of big rolls of paper he had back there, and you could see grass was on them, so they had... Alright, so we're filling up again, so this will be $250 in diesel fuel to come and get it, but I think it was a success. Um, this is the underreach that we bought. It is by far much heavier than what we have, and we end up with these 200 gallon tanks, which are a little bit smaller than what we had, but that'll be okay. They're off an international as well. That's international sending unit, international push to leak connectors. It's like the vents broke. This one is a double double or three stage it's one two and three sections and it's a nomar it's hard to read might be optimistic thinking that's 80,000 pounds I don't know I think it's lift 12,600 we'll have to look up that model number and see what it is it's like a maybe a 1280 I'm not sure we'll have to look but it's by far more substantial and it'll come out farther which will help and then we uh we got all equipment. We got chains, uh, chain adapters for chains to straps. We got the slide arms. We got recovery straps, tow light, safety triangles, half inch chains. Um, that's my straps. Those are all the um, cut pieces for the bottom toolboxes, airlines, trailer light wiring, airline snatch blocks, another big recovery strap. Um, the actual L arms themselves right there, snatch blocks, um, all those. You can't even imagine how many frame forks are up there. It's incredible. But we bought it all so we could have everything, and I think it was a reasonable, reasonable price for everything we got. Now the finished doing this. The he says the hydraulic cylinder leaks on this. It needs repack, but that's okay. We we have our 
our hydraulic specials take care of it before we put it in anyways. There ain't nobody I trust with hydraulics more than him. And he'll do exactly what we need. All right, there we go there. So now I just wanted to stop, get some fuel, and check the straps. Wanted to bring a smaller truck, but you know, it is what it is. I didn't know what that underreach was gonna weigh, but yeah, look at that. Look at all them frame forks. There's gotta be probably 10 or 12 sets of frame forks. I just wanna stop and check all my straps. Make sure they're good. Yep, we're good, okay. On the road we go. All right, so here's what I bought. I got two snatch blocks, they're eight tons each. A couple half inch chains, anything that's missing a hook, I stuck the end up so I'd know it didn't have a hook. Um, need a hook for each one of those. Those are grade 70s. Um, we'll probably be using them for something else or leave them in there, but get a couple grade 100s. Another short half inch chain, hooks at both ends. Another longer half inch chain, hooks at both ends. Long half inch, only one hook. Three eighths with hooks at both ends. Now, I, I wanna mention right now, cause that one's missing a cotter pin that I'll go over it each and every one of these and make sure all the cotter pins are in good shape and they don't look like they've been stretched or bent or anything like that if they have they won't be used on this that's a 5 16 chain there a long one hooks at both ends that one's a 3 8 hooks at one end that's an actual chassis hook for like a rollback I'm not sure why that one would be on there but uh, we'll use it another short one with a union on the end that's a 3 8 as well. That's a 3 8 short one miss, missing a, a hook. Light bar, wireless, with the transmitter. Recovery strap. Um, these are the adapters, some of the adapters. We got, we got, uh, this is for pulling trailers with, uh, kingpin trailers with no fifth wheel. You can snap that into the, uh, around the kingpin and hook your chains to here and pull from the front. A couple light duty clevises there. I didn't look at the rating on them. They're pretty, they're small. Uh, working load limit, uh, five and a half ton. So 10,000 pounds, a couple tow pins. Those are glad hands. So you can put uh, air from the truck to the trailer to release the brakes. Probably should have two of those if you're pulling a semi trailer so you can actually have brakes on the trailer if it has any load in it. We've got uh, end caps. These slide in the end of the the bar, another set of, of uh, stands. These are extensions for that particular bar right there. So you can go wider if you need to. Trailer um, adapter, so you can put a receiver in there. Um, these, these three sets here are a smaller diameter for a different, uh, different brand. These are for leaf springs. I can't remember if that was Volvo or what that big wide axle spread was for. Can't remember, but those are a taller set there. Another set of stands, another set of stands. Uh, probably the ones we'll use the most right there in yellow. Those go underneath the axle. A set of extensions next to it, riser extensions. Another one down here for wider axle. Taller stands, um, leaf springs. So you can grab by the front of the leaf spring. Extensions for this uh, under each. Uh, another set of stands here for axle and wider offset. You can see how it's offset one way. Um, offset with a uh, low cut on one side. And then that big U, like uh, them big four wheel drive axles, you can grab those. Um, adapters up there to go from a strap to a chain. Safety triangles, a lighting cord to go all the way from the back of the truck to the back of the truck you're towing. Um, wheel grids, slide on, and uh, L arms for both. Another recovery strap. The uh, those are straps for um, winching the front axle to the uh, under reach, so it won't pop out of the stands. 
I got two full sets of those. These are smaller ones. Those are 7,800 pounds a piece. These are 3,400 a piece. That's just an extra airline and air hose. So you can air up tires. Um, extra electric cords to go back to the truck to a trailer or what have you. Um, so there's quite a bit of stuff here. And I, I'm not sure that I'll need to buy a bunch of other stuff. I, I may need to as time goes on so it's quite a bit of stuff um, more than likely what we'll end up using is going to be those right there maybe the extensions and maybe these that's probably the majority of what we'll use um, we might use the other stuff on occasion but for what we do these are the things that be probably used the most um, and the chains of course the snatch blocks I don't know I don't know how much recovery we'll be doing but um, at this point in the game, we're just looking to move our trucks. So this was a, a good a good purchase to get the truck the equipment it takes just to get it moving and then uh, We can upgrade from there and uh, See how it goes. But anyways, I think that's it I'm gonna go start putting what I want in the truck get it all in there and uh, Get it organized All right, so we have identified this underreach. This is a Nomar model MD-1030. According to the Nomar specs, what that means is when it's fully extended, it can lift 10,000 pounds and it can tow 30,000 pounds. Um, the drawback to this is, I keep saying how short this is, this only extends 63 inches uh, total length. So getting to that front axle underneath the front axle of a truck with a setback axle can be pretty tough um probably gonna be okay for like medium duty stuff but anything with a bigger engine road tractors maybe even a bus that'll be tough um i did find out something else so i was going through the adapters and there's one adapter that goes in here that you know it's a six inch extension so it makes it wider uh so if you need to pick it up you know something that you need your your stands out farther it comes in here well that's supposed to come in here and it has a collar a ring machined into it so that you can run this a bolt in here so that it can't come out but it also has a part machined on the end of it that corresponds with the machine spot in here so when you put it in it's in the right orientation and it can't spin and I found something out about that I'll show you the picture now so this right here lines up with this so you put a bolt in there, tighten it down, and then this can't come loose. It can't come out this way. It also has this neat little machine portion right here. I assume it's meant so that it can't turn. And there's the hook. Should be just fine. Fits in the, in the machine hole pretty good, except for right there. So you turn it, try and line up that notch section. Oh, there we go. Now, I'm not foolish enough to think that I shouldn't try this on the other side. I already have. I'm on this side now. So what we have here is apparently, this has been off, and this is the bottom. And this is the top. So we have to flip that over. Because uh, that's the only way these chains are going to be up. And I can't ever think of, an, of a situation where I would want them, them hooks them chain hooks down I would think they need to be up so as you can see that chain hook is pointed down I can't ever imagine a situation where I'd want that down but who's who can tell so I believe this has been off and it's upside down there's a slight difference in the way it's manufactured here and you can see there's less steel on the bottom than there is on the top it has this piece but I didn't see this piece down there so I'm thinking that it's been off. That's when we put it on upside down and never use them extensions to know that, or never needed to use the hooks, or whatever. So anyways, that's what we know on that. I went through all of that equipment, adapters and everything. I went through the chains and all the counter pins and looked the chains over, uh, looked at the grating on them. And yeah, a lot of them chains don't belong in there and uh, replace them with something else. These are the, adapters and risers that we're not putting on the truck 
reason being this these risers are four inch by four inch and both of these crossbars are three and a half by three and a half so those won't work i don't want them to accidentally get mixed up so uh, those have never been used apparently or never been used since they've been painted let's put it that way and then these are leaf spring adapters so that you can get the leaf spring in there and get it pinched in between here or you know kind of enclosed in there and lift and these these axle forks or frame forks i can't use them either because they're all like this the pin on all of them is an inch and a half diameter and all the risers i have with the correct three and a half by three and a half have two inch are set up for two inch pins so <clears throat> i'll either have to um put a sleeve on these or just set them aside and not need them not use them because we have plenty of others for this truck i don't think we need them so i'm just going to set them aside now i did find that this is the model i thought it's a it's a nomar as well and it's a 1280 so this one when it's fully extended can live 12,800 i think and tow 80,000 I don't need that 80,000 pound towing capacity. The big benefit to me that I see is the fact that it fully extended is 83 inches. So it's 20 inches of more, 20 inch more extension than the other one. The problem is, I don't know if it's worth taking, doing the work to put this on this chassis when I'm already concerned about the weight on the rear and the steer and I need to put another axle in and we only have 280 horse now I can have that bumped up or check the CPL and I don't think we can have it that horsepower bump too god awful much but it might be worthwhile to go with a different chassis keep this one the way it is just take this tow bar off of here because it's worthless we can't use it with this um, take this off I'll install take this brackets off I'll put a bolt in here with a spring and then just hook my chains to that or I should just put another recovery D-ring up here that'd be good um, and then put a spring in the sleeve for them to hook to or something so I don't have tension on it um, you know just straight tension with no nothing to give and just leave this truck the way it is and use it for the lighter stuff and then take this one and start to build just a basic chassis kind of sort of in the the idea of a zack lift um, just put this on the back of a truck and let it be just this and it'd be less expensive because i have a couple tandem axle chassis that are long enough and big enough motors that and heavy enough suspensions where this would work i'm not certain i haven't decided it's it's a lot this is all kind of new for me so i'm going to take the time that i need to take and uh use this one a bunch before i make any any rash decisions I just wanted to go ahead and get all this stuff so that I had it and if I don't need it well that's fine too um, and a lot of guys have said yeah you'll have this truck sold in a week well I've owned it for two weeks now I think and I haven't sold it yet but that doesn't mean I won't because you have to remember I'm in the business of buying and selling trucks and if this truck makes enough money it'll leave it's not a big deal to me I'll do a little bit of work to it and uh, do some improvements and then uh you know i'll find another one it's not really a big deal uh, i like the truck i love how it runs love how it drives but uh I, they make them every day so i'm gonna ponder on our next step and uh you know we'll go from there hope you guys enjoyed and we'll catch you on the next one